Hey, if you enjoy what I do, please drop a like on the video, sub, click the bell if you want to, not necessary, and drop a comment if you want to give me feedback. I'm doing it like this because I'm pretty bad at selling out when I'm recording videos. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you there. All right. So ex as excited as I am for Van Gogh to come out, you might be thinking, well, wait, why isn't Van Gogh's video out right now? That's because Van Gogh does not have a solo rate up currently going on right now. Nemo has been out in the game for two, year two years now on JP for almost two years and has a solo rate up and is permanent and is a servant I've used many times before. Van Gogh, rate up is on Saturday. I think for I think even for both servers, Van Gogh is gonna be on rate up. So it makes more sense for me to uh, have that video out for uh, Saturday. Uh, also, as you can see uh, over here, I'm currently uh, sponsored by HelloFresh. Uh, if you go into my Twitch chat or click in the link in the description, uh, you can get 65% off your first box. It's a pretty good deal and you can just use that to try it out. If you don't like it, you can always just cancel it. Uh, but really helps me out. Thanks uh, for them sponsoring the channel. Uh, even though they didn't tell me to do YouTube, like this is part of my uh, Twitch overlays anyway, so I might as well just uh, plug it. Maybe uh, someone that watches the video wants to uh, help me out and I'll be able to do more uh, multis for Van Gogh. Uh, speaking of that uh, sponsored stream on Saturday, uh, I got Nemo today uh, and because I got Nemo early, I'm just, I saved the quartz and we're gonna just summon on Saturday with solo bingo. All right, so Nemo, another character that I have a split rate up video. Honestly, like a lot of them are probably gonna get taken down in the next couple weeks uh, with the uh, campaign, all the campaigns going on, so. Nemo, uh, if you played arcade or know about arcade, this is also the vessel for Grand Rider Noah, as in Noah's Ark. Very same, similar appearance. Uh, this one is a split servant, and I like this real art. Uh, male here, but like different. If you play it through the campaign, you know, like Nemo is a bunch of different things, but Nemo is mixed with a whole bunch of different things, uh, different people. So, base attack just below average. Uh, HP, I, I believe that's a little above average. Tar weight, Sergeant, typical rider. Uh, double arts, double buster. Makes sense for a rider that is arts. They don't really need star gen because they're not that good at it. Uh, better for more damage and more refund. MP charge, 0.59. Actually, this is actually pretty high. Um, for uh, art servants that have four hitter arts and as a rider so if you get stars you're gonna crit on the arts card you're gonna gen a lot of mp um chaotic balance interesting uh yeah this servant again permanent you can get spooked by him just TLDR, you probably shouldn't be summoning on specific banners for just Nemo because you can get them at any time. But if you want to get this servant, I guess uh, now would probably be your best time, regardless of what server you're on. Unfortunately, uh, hits aren't the best, but it's fine. Nemo does so many things. All right. First skill, party MP damage, 12%, kinda low. Party attack, 12%, I know, kinda low. But if you're on water side or void space battlefield, and void space battlefield pretty much just means this event right here. Uh, during imaginary scramble, 
Uh, I don't believe Void Space has any other usage other than Imaginary Scramble, but I might be wrong about that. Five turn cooldown. This, this skill is definitely lacking if you're not on a water side battlefield, because water side is going to be much more common. And then it's a 33. Then it then this is like a mana burst. This is really close to a mana burst. Uh, if you're able to get on water side, because 32% attack and 12% MP damage, that that goes a long way. Second skill, an interesting one. So, first and firm, foremost, 30% battery. So if you want to MP off turn one in a boss fight, because Nemo is a single target arts DPS, you're gonna want to get the be a pen skill. You're gonna get wanna get that maxed out. Second, one turn, five turn guts. 3k HP. That is not bad. That really is not bad. The real kicker is an on activation buff for the guts. Also note, this is not a guts that stacks, unfortunate. And it's one time, so you can't abuse this. If the guts procs, you get a 50% battery. You heard me right. 50, five, zero for a guts proc. I don't know about you, but if you're like, for a art servant, a 50% battery on guts proc, you, especially when the guts is this long, oof. And then you like bring Tamamo cooldown reduction, like this, like Tamamo actually kind of does would make that a little difficult because you might be healing a little too much that the guts won't proc. Unless you just want to keep the guts as a back pocket, like. So like with Tamamo reduction and these cooldown durations, you're probably gonna have the guts 100% up. And if you just want that battery in the back pocket, sure. Like especially if if you are using Tamamo, you're probably like that battery probably will let let you get an MP. I think this skill is uh, skill is pretty cool, especially for what you're supposed to be doing with Nemo. Third skill. 20% arts buff to the party and if you are on water side or void space another 20% for three turns 40% arts for the party along with a 15 star bomb so let's 40% arts 32% attack 12% MP damage all those are multiplying, but it's a lot of damage from own kit. Although this definitely varies greatly if you're not on water side, then it's kind of it's definitely gonna be lackluster. Damage isn't gonna be good. Or it's not it's not gonna be bad, but it's not gonna be great. But if you're on water side and also like you can't be on water side and void at the same time, that's why they had or um so you wouldn't be able to double stack this, but imagine if you could imagine quick performance 12 11 percent typical like well, i think almost every rider has that they should because the riding passive but nemo doesn't have any quick cards so if you have to use it it'll be okay uh especially qabs but i i definitely wouldn't be hung up on too much on a quick card divinity for tickle and a special Passive. Crit damage of arts cards up 10%. And if you are on water side or void, 500% damage cut. Get it. When, he, when Nemo's good, he's really, really good. Like having 500%, fi, not 500%, 500 damage cut. That's nice because Ibuki has like 200 passive and just like she just, she feels great using it with that. Passives, again, you're going to want mana loading first, so you can do the MP off turn one. 
uh, without needing a whole bunch of uh, stuff. But extra attack, again, as a DPS servant is going to be nice. Damage while against archers, cool, I guess. And then we got the MP, three hit. MP damage buff if you're on water side or void. So again, 40% arts, 32% attack, and now 32% MP damage if you are on void and water side battlefield. We will show what that damage looks like um, in a second when I show the DPS uh, chart. That's not even everything. Ignores evasion as well if you're on water side or void battlefield. Uh, uh, this lasts for one turn. Important. MP damage lasting for one turn. Activates first. Doesn't really matter, but this activating first does matter. And then a damage mod against super large enemies. Even more damage. And then cherry on top. No matter what, you are getting MP damage. So again, we check. That is 42% MP damage, 32% attack, 40% arts buff, and 150% damage mod against super large enemies. What does that look like? Single target. Nemo has three different scalings here. So, normal damage, 42,000. That's not that bad. That would be, uh, considering Ozzy's is only this high because he has a buffed MP, which he does not even have right now on NA. Nemo hits harder than Ozzy, I believe, right now. On base. Ozzy should be closer to Cuckoo. Then, if you get any of these power-ups from being on a water side or void battlefield, you can see the damage goes up 50%. Uh, actually, a little more than 50%. Because the super large is just 50%. Now, if you are on water side, and they are super large. 101,000 damage at MP1. This is neutral damage. There is no other single target rider that comes close. Like this is hard. Now, obviously it's not like she show or uh, who has a buffed MP. Um, that's in range of Musashi against a Moon Cancer type neutral. To give you context, Musashi hits really, really hard. Uh, also X. Uh, when she's hitting a Saber class servant. That's the same damage. X is very famous for doing like really high damage. Uh, and Nemo is hitting about the same. And then Bone CE. If that wasn't enough. Party wide damage mod against super large enemies. And if you're on water side or void, you get another 10% arts buff. This will now apply to if you're like against for face card damage, uh, cards now. Because on the MP, the super large is only for the MP, it is not for face card damage. So this greatly, greatly increases Nemo's ba damage uh, as a DPS servant. Now, is it the best CE? Are like, are you if you have Black Rail maxed out, are you probably gonna use Black Rail? Yeah. Probably. Because Black Rail just does so much. But if you don't want Nemo to be like main DPS as a like uh, sub DPS, even still against a single target opponent, 
he can give a 40% arts buff and with this CE that is a mana burst he gives a mana burst to the entire party as a sub TPS that is ridiculous is the fact that he is a permanent servant even with such a small niche is very value valuable i hold nemo in very high regards again though it's kind of only when you're on a water side battle but it makes sense he's a sea captain with a submarine how much how useful is that going to be on dry land how useful is that on dry land that that's the comparison like cool it could work you could put wheels on it but it's not gonna work the same way uh you should not summon specifically for nemo summoning on the split rate up is a mistake i'm stupid i did it because i wanted to try to get Vango a little early now i'm just gonna wait till saturday Vango is a good servant should you summon for him on uh jp you'll probably get spooked that's how i got it i got nemo summoning for um ibuki doji like last year in november actually around the same time with the download campaign around this time uh i think that was 24 million yeah i think yeah 24 million download campaign for ibuki i got nemo uh yeah so Nemo is going to be doing good in the imaginary scramble. Try him out for yourselves. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Have a good day. Peace.